A remarkable and unmistakable show of unity. Hundreds of thousands of people waiting hours in line just to get a few seconds of time to say goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II. The first full day of the Queen lying in state coming to a close in London. CBS 46 anchor Rick Fulbaum live in London tonight and wrecked the images we have seen all day. And it really says it all. Everyone wants to pay their respects. Well, Sean, it meant everything to these people, and that's what they told me. One after another, as I spoke to them as they came out of Westminster Hall after getting just a few seconds standing before the Queen's coffin after waiting for hours and hours and hours. And as you said, today was the first full day for people to do that, and the ones I talked to said it meant everything to them. Absolutely amazing to be in there. Um, waited six hours to get in, and it was worth every minute of it, really. I talked to Maya and Stella. Everything was so quiet, everybody was so respectful. As they emerged from Westminster Palace, where the Queen's flag-draped coffin lies in state. I'm a completely different faith. I just said the prayer that I would normally say if a member of my family died, um, which was a very short prayer, a minimal one. But I, I whispered it to myself because it felt like I can't come all this way and not do that for her. As the sovereign, Queen Elizabeth was the head of the Church of England. She was also head of the UK's armed forces. I swore an oath of allegiance to serve Queen and country um, back in 1999. Nick Wilson is a veteran of Britain's army. He traveled 75 miles in his wheelchair for the chance to honor Queen Elizabeth in person. I think it is everything. It, it, I feel I'm disabled because of my service, um, but I'm grateful for my disabilities because they help me to help other people. Um, and so being able to stand up just about and bang up a salute to her just that one last time, you know, someone that I dedicated all of my life too. I even managed to find some Americans, Georgians no less, Grant from Marietta and Eric from Sewanee. We're over here for a paintball event actually, a tournament, but we came down here to pay our respects and just take a look and see what everybody's doing, so. It's quite a scene, isn't it? Yes, sure is, a lot of people down here. Good to see everybody paying their respects and we're enjoying our time. They came for paintball and wound up witnessing history even if the U.S. was founded in order to get away from kings and queens. I mean, it's part of history. I mean, we've, we've broken away from that, but um, it's still interesting to see. Interesting is one way to put it. I was so excited to meet those guys from Metro Atlanta. Uh, they, they really, uh, it was nice to have a taste of home. Uh, the viewing will continue until Monday morning, and that's when the Queen's coffin will be brought to Westminster Abbey, which is just over my shoulder there. Uh, that's where her funeral will take place starting at 11 o'clock. Dignitaries from all over the world coming here, including President and Mrs. Biden. Guys? Rick, you're in London. You've been witnessing some of the major preparations underway ahead of the Queen's funeral. What's going into that preparation? Well, I don't know if you can hear, but over my shoulder, they are building scaffolding. I'll tell you, if you want to make some money in London right now, two different businesses that you should be in, scaffolding and security, uh, because this place is loaded with, with all of that, uh, tons of security uh, around town, both uh, police officers and private security companies that have uh, put people all over the streets just to keep the crowds moving and, and happy, and they're doing that. Uh, but the scaffolding that's going up, the hammering, uh, the sawing, uh, that's been happening all day long uh, because that's where the cameras are going to go on top of the risers for the funeral that'll take place right behind me on Monday morning. Certainly hard to organize hundreds of thousands of people, Rick. What about the British Commonwealth? The Queen ruled over more than just the United Kingdom. Will her death lead to any changes away from the mainland? You know, that's a very interesting question, Rob. I was wondering the same thing. There are 54 countries that make up the Commonwealth, and there have been reports this week that a few of them may be considering an exit. Uh, they're in the Commonwealth voluntarily. It used to be that Britain ruled over them. Uh, now they're in it because they want to be in it. But a lot of people are saying, you know what, we don't want to be in it anymore. So uh, the Bahamas is actually planning to have a referendum. Uh, to give people the chance to, to vote and to decide whether they want to remain a part of the British Commonwealth, and there's a chance that they might leave. Well, Rick, you will continue our coverage through Monday's funeral, both on air and online. 
stay safe, and we'll see you tonight at 11. All right, let's